Hello, I'm David Clark, the Chief Executive of West Dorset District Council, who operates about 70 services across a population of 98,000 people in one of the most beautiful areas of the country, uh, covering 400 square miles or so. And I wanted to talk to you today about the uh, reasons the Council have decided to move its centre of operations from its current location at Stratton House in Dorchester to a brand new purpose-built offices in Charles Street in Dorchester. The Council's decision is based on uh, the Council's drive for efficiencies, not only to reduce the cost of what we've got, but also to drive efficiencies into the improving services that we deliver to the public. And the current location um, we've uh, examined thoroughly, and although they are important historic buildings, the first of which is Stratton House that we're sitting in now, which is uh, a Victorian townhouse built in 1883. The next part of the main building is the Judge's Lodgings, a grade two listed building built in 1812, and the Shire Hall, which is the historically important uh, where the toll puddle martyrs were tried, which was built back in the 1790s. Now, although we want to protect the important historical fabric of those buildings for the future, um, what they don't do is, because of the restrictions, is lend themselves to flexible use, and we want to examine that. The buildings we have here were never designed for um, office use. We've got a variety of buildings, um, stable block, an old schoolhouse, an old pathology lab. Um, so they were never intended to be used as offices and so it makes it difficult for maintenance, access, security, etc. The Council's efficiency drive is about saving taxpayers' money and uh, the relocation of the offices is part of that programme. It's a serious uh, programme to make sure that the cost of the new buildings compared with the cost of the existing buildings is cheaper. 37% of our current office accommodation is uh, stairwells and uh, corridors which require heating and lighting. Our current heating systems and the windows are old and very inefficient and are due for replacement. Having invested in replacement heating and the adaptations to windows and so on, these buildings will still not have a good carbon footprint and they will still cost a lot of money to run. Our new accommodation will be half the size of the floor space in our current location. It will by design and by the infrastructure within the building be able to lead to a massive reduction in our carbon footprint. The move will save over 150,000 per year for taxpayers based on the efficiency of the new building compared with where we are. At the moment we have three reception areas the new single reception in the new offices will make it far easier for people with buggies, for the elderly and for people in wheelchairs and the general public. Everyone will be able to access public services in one location in the new development. So when the council move offices, all these cars will be down at the park and ride, thereby freeing up a lot more space for shoppers. This staff car, for instance, will be one of the cars there. The council is currently in negotiations to secure the operation of the Shire Hall as an international and national visitor centre. The important heritage of the Crown Court will be protected for the future. So how can the council afford to build new offices? The costs of construction, internal fitting out and new IT for the building, which is also likely to include a new library for Dorchester, will be around £10.7 million. The council can fund this by selling the Stratton House complex, which it expects will fetch around £3.5 million. The council has already saved up £3 million to meet the high costs of maintaining Stratton House over the next few years. The council can afford to borrow up to £4.2 million to fund the rest, because it will not be paying huge utility bills, cleaning and maintenance at Stratton House. The new offices will provide a first phase to the important redevelopment of the Charles Street site in Dorchester. The new Charles Street development 
will bring a wider range of shops and more jobs to the town. It will help Dorchester and the surrounding area recover faster from the current recession. The new offices, as part of the council's efficiency drive, will provide better services, be more effective, more efficient and reduce the cost to the taxpayer.